So today we're checking out something that I'm very late to. Like I just recently got this fragrance. It's another one of those deals that's happened so often where I'll see something talked about, I'll look it up, looks good, and then I don't pick it up for, in this case, several years. And this one is, this is him by Zadig and Voltaire. That is the uh, American pronunciation anyway. Uh, this is a 50 mil eau de toilette here that we're gonna be covering. Uh, I was able to get a decent deal on this bottle size. Although now that I've had it in and I've been wearing it, I wish I could have snagged up a bigger bottle, even though realistically this will be plenty for now. It's just one of those things where this is an instant hit for me, and we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and if I think it's a, a good pickup for the price and everything else. So let's start off with the smell of this one. Right off the bat, opens up warm and spicy with this vanilla and black pepper mixture. Uh, one thing that I noticed from this one is it has this mature vibe to it. So when you look at the notes and you see stuff like vanilla and you know stuff like that, a lot of times you may start to think, okay, is this gonna be like a, a super sickly sweet vanilla scent to where it can go down a youthful or playful track? or how are they going to approach it? Because a lot of times with vanilla, if you're using it as a prominent note, you can end up with something that maybe isn't all that masculine, has a youthful and playful smell, and can kind of get categorized into the just overly sweet winter fragrance category for men, which a lot of guys aren't into. But this one has the support of the pepper and the incense to really balance that out. And the incense comes through strong here, giving it this mature and smoky type of feel. There's sandalwood in the base, which comes across amazing in the dry down. It's this silky, creamy, smooth sandalwood mixing with this vanilla, black pepper, spicy combination, and then incense to balance it out. It's really genius. Now, the only other note that I haven't mentioned yet, and that's grapefruit, uh, you really don't get a whole lot of that. If anything, it would be off the top. And there's, a, to be fair, a little bit of a brightness off the top, which would be coming from that grapefruit, but it's nowhere near a heavy player. So this is going to be for the type of guy who wants something with a spicy, smoky, and mysterious edge to it, with some sweetness thrown in, of course. But I mean, even just smelling this one off the dry down, or just, you know, off the atomizer, it smells so, so nice. I mean, you're able to pick up on those notes right there. The vanilla, the incense, even a little bit of the pepperiness off the top there. Just from smelling the atomizer, you don't even have to spray it to start diving in. Although, when you do a spray this one, and especially when you apply it on your skin, that's where it really starts to open up and develop. Um, this is one where, when I got it in the mail, I just sprayed it on my skin right away. Just because looking at the note breakdown, I knew it was something I was probably going to at least like, but then as I started walking around and, and I was wearing it, I was able to pick up on all those nuances, that nice, light, but still kind of syrupy and smooth vanilla, that smokiness, this kind of dark, mysterious edge that this one has, I really started to fall in love instantly. And to me, especially when I wear it on skin, it almost comes across as though there's a little bit of a leather accord. Now, they don't list off leather, but I don't know, just the way everything mixes together, it could just be how the vanilla and, and incense is mixing together. And a lot of times in fragrances like this, leather is something that can be common. So maybe it's just one of those things where I feel like it should be there. So I'm kind of picking up on it, but it does kind of have a little bit of a leathery feel to me. It's really quite unique. I mean, it doesn't smell like any other vanilla scent that I have. It doesn't smell like any other incense fragrance that I have. Um, this one though, is going to be something where you'll want to approach it with a bit of a level head here. You know, like I've said before, this is not the aquatic or freshy genre. And the reason why I always bring that up is because typically fragrances like that are, are what beginners are gonna be gravitating towards. That's my, was my thing when I was first getting into fragrances. I wanted everything to do with every aquatic and freshy that I could get my hands on. And at the time, this is no joke, I wanted nothing to do with fragrances like this. Seriously, I did not want anything to do with them. And it's crazy because now stuff like this is like my favorite thing ever. But when I was first starting out, that wasn't it. So I bring that up just to make you guys aware that this is not going to be your typical men's fragrance where it's clean and fresh and citrusy and, and kind of aquatic and just, oh, super uplifting. I mean, we're getting into something here that is warmer, heavier, sweeter, and darker. Now, there is actually a little bit of a 
fresh balance out of this one, but primarily it's smoky and sweet and dark, and mysterious and spicy and, and all of that type of stuff that you would want in a winter fragrance. So just think of that going into this one. If you're into that and you want something that's a little bit different, a little bit out of the ordinary and not quite your typical wintertime release, you know, your super sweet bomb that comes across youthful, that's where you would want to put your attention on this one and get something that is not that. Now, as I mentioned, this is an eau de toilette concentration. Nothing wrong with that because we actually get good performance out of this one. For me, it's a seven, eight hour scent longevity wise, which I think is really solid. Uh, this isn't a cheapy, but it's also not like super, super expensive either. It's kind of more so mid range price. And for that price, seven, eight hours is pretty solid. Now projections a little bit softer. Uh, for me, it's more of a one that lingers in the air, kind of suspends itself in the air and leaves a nice trail. And you'll notice that during your testing that you may spray it on and walk out of the room and maybe someone else comes in the room and they're able to smell you, that sort of thing. It excels in that type of environment. It doesn't really fill up a room just by you standing there and projecting out, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, so that, that could just depend on what you like. Maybe you like that. Maybe you want something that does fill a room and, and have distance with its projection, this doesn't do that. So it all depends on what you're after here. But for me, I like this type of performance right here. Good longevity with a, you know, a lower projection range, but an increased scent trail ability. That's what I like. And it also is nice for a scent like this because this is the type of thing that if it were to really have a lot of distance and be very aggressive with its projection, this is the type of scent that could offend people. You know, if you have something like a Nautica Voyage and it fills up an entire room and then some, yeah, it might be annoying, okay, but it's not gonna be super inoffensive. It's bright and fresh and green, right? No one's really gonna get too upset. But you've got this right here, which has that spiciness mixed with that heavy dose of incense. This could put some people off in a situation like that. But being that it sits closer to your skin, not so much of an issue. And this is one of those scents where if you're carrying yourself right, you're dressed well to kind of fit the scent, uh, it's going to be a good compliment getter. You know, it's something that will kind of have people look twice or, or think twice or smell twice and be like, wait a minute, I just picked up on something. Not sure exactly where that was coming from yet, but I'm interested, I wanna know more. This is that type of scent. Whereas your typical freshy, someone may smell it in passing and think, oh, that guy there, whoever it was, smelled clean and fresh, and then they'll forget about it five minutes later. This is the type of thing that will leave a lasting memory in someone when they smell it, and they'll be curious about it. And ultimately, that's kind of the goal of a winter fragrance. You know, uh, summertime is all about the freshies and aquatics and just getting by and smelling clean and refreshing for the summer in the heat where you don't want to annoy people because everyone's already going to be annoyed enough when it's 100 plus degrees out. Winter is where you can really start to express yourself a lot more and, and gravitate towards things that are going to be much more memorable. And that's where this fits in. And also the quality is really nice as well. It's a nice, high quality vanilla. You guys know I love vanilla fragrances and I can be kind of critical on them, you know, depending on, of course, the price point. Uh, vanilla $20 cheapy, I'm not gonna be too harsh on it because it's a $20 scent, but when you get to the point where you're spending 50, 60, 70, 100, $200, uh, as the price goes up, I'm gonna be more critical on it. Take, for example, Armani Code Absolute, that's about $100, $110 sometimes, depending on bottle size. Nice vanilla Tonka suede scent. I love that one. It's a top-notch vanilla. Mercedes-Benz Club Black, uh, anywhere from, you know, if you catch it on a good day, 50, 60, sometimes 70, 80, just all over the place, but it's also vanilla benzoin scent. Also incredibly good. I would pay $100 for it and be happy, just as I would be even more happy if I paid 50, but I would pay 100 bucks for it and it's still holding up at that price point. Great stuff there. And same deal with this, where at the price point I paid and that it typically goes for, it's worth every penny. The vanilla's high quality, the incense is of a nice variety where it's mature and smoky. It doesn't come across unnatural or synthetic. Um, the opening is smooth, the dry down is even more smooth. I mean, this one just hits the nail on the head here. That's really gonna do it for me. This is him. So uh, I gotta say, impressive. If you've been on the fence and you are into what I just described, pull the trigger on this one and get ready for fall and winter time. It's gonna be a beast. Hit the link down below, get it for a bit of a discount, and that's where I'm gonna leave it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.